Hello YouTube, it is Everything Epan here, and in this video we are doing a video tutorial on how to install MS-DOS 6.22 in PCM or 86 box. Um, I'd like to apologize first of all for the lack of uploads over the past month uh, or so here. Um, just been getting a little bit busy here recently and also had a little mishap where I had uh, ended up losing all of my files on my big drive that I have on my computer, which had all my videos, my thumbnails, and all my ISO files. So I've been trying to spend the last couple weeks um, restoring all of those uh, files. I still have to recreate my thumbnails and try and get those taken care of, but um, but that's kind of a part of what's been going on there too over the last uh, month with the lack of uploads as I'm just trying to make sure I get all my... Uh, um, operating system images and um, doing some more VM testing, things like that. Um, I do appreciate your guys' feedback on my post there that I was talking about doing some uh, operating system installs on actual hardware. I'd like to try and see if I can start doing that here sometime in the near future um, and show you guys some of those here, you know, from that perspective versus doing them in just virtual machines. Um, but this is also going to be, uh, this MS-DOS video is going to be kind of a trilogy here of the videos, uh, upcoming, um, as in the future, we'll be doing, uh, some installs here of Windows 3.1 and also Windows 95 and, um, the Chicago betas, um, which, uh, have kind of a little bit of a, not really a complex process, but it requires to have, you know, a lot of the Chicago betas require the Windows 3.1 to be installed. And of course you have to have MS-DOS installed to get Windows 3.1 installed. So it's kind of a little bit of a trilogy there. Um, but uh, without further ado, with all that being said, we'll go ahead and just get straight into it here. Um, there will be links in the description here. If you do not have PCM or 86 box, you see the uh, PCM site is uh, going to be listed in there um, and you can download the version for your specified operating system. They also have some older versions there too. Um, for that you will need to obtain some ROMs uh, for that uh, they have uh, looks like a ROM link here but you can also search online there too for PCM ROMs um, pretty easy to find and then uh, 86 box um, is in here as well um, you can download the stable or experimental version um, as well you also will need some ROMs uh, for that as well you know those are also obtained uh, searching through there you know there's different ROMs that some people prefer so it's just um, whichever you'd prefer but uh, those will be in there and then there's also going to be the link uh, to a archive.org link for the MS-DOS 6.22 um, with the CD-ROM driver as well um, and this was uploaded by Tim A on archive.org uh, here um, so this is going to be where you'll want to download that. You'll see if you click the arrow on the ISO images, you'll have the three setup disks and the CD-ROM image to install the driver. And we'll show you how to do that in this as well. Um, once you have the things downloaded that you need to there, um, you can open up either your preference of PCM or 86 box here. I will be using 86 box in this video. We'll want to go ahead and add a new machine here. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this MS-DOS uh, 6.22. And I'm going to hit the check to configure the virtual machine. We're just going to hit add. And it'll say it's created. And then uh, when the configuration comes up, I'll go through on what I usually select for my different uh, settings here. Um, you can play around with these settings and you know choose ones of, that you wish. Um, you don't have to pick the ones that I do. Um, these have just been working the best for me. Um, but you can certainly play around with these different settings to choose, you know, different machine types, graphics types, sound sound cards, you know. Not that that's going to matter for MS-DOS really necessarily, but for some of the other operating systems. But um, usually for most of my uh, machines that I create in PCM or 86 box, uh, the machine type that I do is I do the... Uh, socket 7 dual voltage and then for the machine I do the epox uh, p55 and then for CPU type I do the uh, Intel Pentium MMX at 233 uh, megahertz speed there and then the RAM the highest you can go on this is 128 megabytes so I just go ahead and put it all the way up and then I also make sure here this is really important when you're doing betas um, to disable time synchronization um, 
you can leave it enabled for this MS DOS installation, but you know, for if you're testing things out and doing beta installations, a good thing to do is disable time synchronization so that the date doesn't get reset and you know you have to do reinstalls and it'll tell you that the evaluation's expired, those kinds of things. Um, under display, uh, the one that I usually do under here, you know, you can see there's a lot of different options here for your display. There's so many different things. Um, the one that I've had the most luck with here, and you know, again, this is just kind of with messing around with certain ones of these. Um, one that I have used before is the S3 Trio 64 Phoenix. Um, that is one that I've used. I've also used the uh, ATI uh, 64GX. That's the one I've really been using recently. So I'm gonna select that one, and then we'll check the box that says Voodoo Graphics. And then for input devices, you can just do really any one of these will work. So we'll just do standard PS2 mouse. Um, and that should get the job done for us. The sound card that I normally use is I just use the Sound Blaster 16. Sometimes I've used the, uh, depending on the uh, machine you pick, it's like the Sound Blaster PCI 128, I think is the other one. But yes, the common one that I just use is Sound Blaster 16 um, for that. And then for network, really any of these will work. So I just usually go to slurp. Um, and then I do the uh, AMD PC net PCI one. Um, ports I leave alone. Uh, storage controllers for HD controller, I just do IDE controller um, towards the very bottom. And then for hard disk, this is where you're going to create your hard disk. So we'll just create a new one here. And I'm going to call it MS DOS 6.22. Um, and then for the size, you can really do any anything you want. You can make it a gig. I mean, it's not going to be accurate when I type in the numbers, right? You know, it's going to be a number off, but you can do two gigs right around there. I'm just going to do a gig for the purpose of this. And then uh, leave it on IDE and the channel on zero, zero. Leave all these other settings the same and hit OK. And it will create your uh, hard disk. So, um, and then it'll give you a warning or a notice to just remember to partition and format the drive. So... There you see it has now been created. And then uh, under floppy and CD-ROM drives, um, I usually just disable the second one here. And then I put this one at uh, 3.5, 1.44M. Um, and then, so that's three and a half inch, 1.44 meg uh, floppy disk. And then for CD-ROM drives, uh, I just do ATAPI and then you can put this at whatever you want. A common number that was used on a lot of discs was 24x speed and then make sure the channel's at zero one you can up it i guess it really doesn't matter you can put it up to 72x if you want um and then for these last two tabs nothing you need to do here um, these can just be left the same and then just hit okay and that should save your configuration changes um so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start the machine and then you can go ahead and make this match here by going to view and do resizable window. It'll match up here with it. I want to click in and hit delete to go to the setup here. Um, and this is just kind of a little bit of an overview of that. You can go in and change your bio state. It's going to automatically set it to January 1st, 1996. And then, you know, start the time from the beginning there. Then you can also go in and change the boot sequence if you're doing some other uh, install types. So um, that's how to get into the BIOS there. Just kind of a quick little... Um, thing on that. Now to get out of this, you either press F8 and F12 together, or you can press down on your middle mouse um, and it'll release it back to your main machine. We'll Want to go up to the media tab here, um, go up to floppy and choose existing image. And then this is where you'll want to locate where you save those image files for MS-DOS. So, um, so mine are located in here. You'll want to do the disk one setup first. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and do a hard reset on the machine and then you can dismiss this so it doesn't show again. The shortcut is also this button right next to the pause to do a reset on the machine. So go ahead and uh, it'll boot your machine up and you can do that right at the beginning of the uh, um, when you power on your machine too and put in that image. Um, if it comes up here just hit F1 to continue and it should boot uh, normally. It'll say starting MS-DOS. And then it should uh, boot us up into the first part of the uh, setup and should give us the welcome screen um, for the MS-DOS 6.22 setup. So here we are at the welcome to setup page. So we'll just want to hit enter to continue. 
And then we'll want to hit enter to configure on the allocated disk space. And it's going to do a restart. It's just going to say just to make sure that setup disk one is in drive A, which it already is. So we'll go ahead and restart your machine. And then it should boot back up into the setup automatically. So it'll say starting MS-DOS, and then it should go back into that blue screen portion. Um, going to do a system configuration check, and then it's going to actually format your drive. Um, and that should be a relatively quick process. And then this is a part here. You can choose your date and time, country, and keyboard layout. If you need to change those, you can go up and do so. Um, if the settings are correct, just make sure that the um, this bottom message is highlighted and hit enter. Um, we're going to install it in the C DOS directory. Usually that's the default anyways. So go ahead and install it there and it's going to go ahead and, uh, start the installation process of MS DOS 6.22. So it's going to go ahead and copy all those files over here, um, and get that installed. So, um, since it is emulating on older hardware versus doing this in VirtualBox or VMware, uh, if you've watched any of those kinds of videos previously, um, it will take longer because it is emulating off of older hardware. That's kind of the purpose of these uh, for PCM and 86 box. And I've started to really like to use these for doing older beta installs like uh, Windows Chicago, Windows or Microsoft Memphis, um, even Windows Millennium betas. Um, and even I've tried to do some Whistler betas, some like early Whistler betas. Um, I haven't gotten those to work properly, but yeah, a lot of the other betas I've really enjoyed getting into. Um, and you're even able to get the audio to work on those because it has Sound Blaster 16 uh, drivers pre-installed for some of those, um, which is cool, um, at least for the later ones. But now it's going to have us proceed to uh, insert disk number two. So what we'll do is go up to media, go to floppy. Um, it'll bring up that window, go to existing image, and then we'll want to insert disk number two. Click into the machine and hit enter. And remember, that's going to be something to get a get used to when you're you know flipping your disks out is you need to make sure when you're wanting to continue, you need to make sure you're clicked into the machine and hitting enter. And then to back out of the machine again, it's either F8 and F12 together or just press down on your middle mouse and it'll give you the... Um, control back on your main machine. So it's going to copy the files from the second disk and then eventually it should be ready for disk number three. And then once that's done, it will have us reboot again and it will give us uh, the DOS prompt. Um, so again, this will just take a little bit of time. Just let it run through and copy over the files. Some of them are, of course, you know, bigger than others. So, you know, it's going to take uh, time between the different files to copy all those over. So I'll just come back to you guys. I'm just going to do, I'll quickly pause here and I'll come back to you guys once it's on uh, the prompt here for number three uh, to insert disk three here. And not too long later, it did end up popping up to insert disk number three. So again, um, make sure if you're clicked in here, just hit your middle mouse or the F8, F12 together and go up to media, go back to floppy and do the existing image. And then we'll insert disk number three. Click in and hit enter. And then it's going to go ahead and copy the rest of the files um, over and finish up the installation of MS-DOS 6.22. Um, so go ahead and just let it finish through the install here and then it will give us a prompt to remove the floppy disks, um, any floppy disks that you have in your drives and restart your machine uh, to complete the installation. Um, so getting up to the 75% mark, and looks like it's going through here uh, relatively quickly, quickly for the hardware that we have set on here. And then as we just wait for it to go through everything, we'll pop up with that prompt to eject the disk. So just a little bit of patience here waiting for it to finish up. And then once it is done, you'll get the prompt to remove disk from all floppy drives. So we want to click out of the machine and then we can do the eject right here. Click back in and hit enter. And it's going to give you the setup complete message that it is now installed and we'll want to hit enter to do the restart. So we'll go ahead and restart the machine. And then once that is done, it'll say starting MS-DOS and it should bring up the prompt. And there we go. MS-DOS has been installed. Um, 
So you can do any commands as you wish now with any of this. Um, now that we do have it installed. Um, one thing you can do now that we have it installed is if you want to continue, you know, you want to use or try and set up any beta operating systems that require, you know, they use the ISO. Obviously, they'll be in a CD format there. Um, we can install the CD-ROM driver that comes with uh, this uh, from the link in the description. And to do that, we'll go up to media, go up to the floppy and do the existing image. And then there should be the image file called CD-ROM. We we'll want to go ahead and insert that. And then to do the install, if you click into your machine, what we'll want to type in in uh, DOS is a colon. And it will route to our floppy drive. And then to install it, all we have to type in is setup.bat. And it'll install the drivers and it'll have one file copy over and it'll say setup complete. Um, once that's done, if we click out of our machine and we do go ahead and eject the disk up here um, and then do a reset. You will see here that it restarts the machine and it'll boot us up into MS-DOS again. And then once it boots here into MS-DOS, you can see that it now loads the uh, CD-ROM device driver by Oak Technology, um, which is one of the common ones here. And it'll tell you here um, what your drive letter is for your uh, CD-ROM uh, device there. So if you go to D colon, that's where it would route to your uh, your CD-ROM there. And whatever you have inserted, you can view things on there and start installs if you do operating systems inserted with your CD-ROM um, in this. So with that being said, that does complete the tutorial on how to install MS-DOS 6.22 in PCM or 86 box. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you um, are not yet subscribed to the channel, you can do so down below and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever I upload. Um, if you have any ideas for any future videos, leave a comment down below, or if you have any other comments to leave, um, or any feedback, anything you want to leave in the comments certainly can do so. Um, if you enjoyed this video, or if you found it helpful at all, um, you can leave a like down below. Um, certainly, uh, would appreciate any kind of feedback there. If it's, uh, been helpful, if you're having any issues, that kind of thing, um, you know, that's kind of the main goal is to make sure that these are precise enough that they can help out um, anybody that's trying to do any installs as such. But um, that is, again, the video tutorial on how to install MS-DOS 6.22 in PCM or 86 box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.